I gave you back-to-back free winners to close out the Indiana-Miami series with the Pacers in Game 5 and the Heat Easy in Game Number 6. And, of course, on Thursday night in Game Number 5 of the Spurs-Thunder series, I had my best bet as a premium play on San Antonio. Today, I think personally the best bet is actually in baseball on the Saturday card. However, I'm going to break down the Game 6 matchup between the Thunder and Spurs and give that to you as a free selection plus a free play in baseball. One of your late night games, the Angels and the A's as well. That's coming up in just a moment. Hi everyone, out to Marco here. This, of course, your Saturday video reporting as I've done each and every Saturday over the past couple of years. I'm going to give you a money-saving discount coupon code that can potentially save you hundreds of dollars off your total purchase price. And that code today is 25%. That's 2-5, and then you spell out the word P-E-R-C-E-N-T, no space between 25 and the word percent. 25% will save you 25% off your total purchase price. That's for anything here at the site, any handicap or any combination of any handicappers, picks and packages, anything will save you 25% off your total purchase price. The only stipulation, as usual, guys, you've got to put everything in your shopping cart at one time. So you can't come in and buy, you know, uh, Matt Rivers, big baseball play that goes at 3 o'clock, and then four hours later come in and buy Trace Adams, big NBA play that goes at 8.30 Eastern time. Everything in your shopping cart at one time, mix and match coupon. Again, as I always tell you with these coupons, if you happen to already be in the midst of a long-term package with with one of the hot handicappers at the site, let's say a, a Jeff Benton, for example, or a Scott Delaney. Let's say you're 15 days through their 30-day package. You want to take another 30 days. You can do so and use this coupon. You'll then have 45 days, 30 plus the original 15, in your next package. And if you have any instant rebates applicable, they're good as well for redemption. So 25% off your total purchase price by using coupon code 25%. Maybe there's just one particular thing here you want today at the site. You want to save $25 off a single purchase, use coupon code $25. Half price play of the day. Going to turn to Trace Adams. Normally, a thousand star play is his top rated release. And he's won 10 of the last 12 of those top-rated 1,000-star plays, including the Spurs in a blowout in game number five, including the Heat in a blowout in game number six the past two days. But today, he has something 50% bigger. His raise the bar, 1,500-star game of the year, Oklahoma City, San Antonio, your side selection. And to put this in perspective for you, he was one of only three handicappers to have the Seahawks in the Super Bowl against Denver a couple of months ago. <laughs> Remember that horror show, right? If you were a Broncos fan. Um, that was a 1,500 stars play as well. And this play matches that one. One dollar bettors have won a little over $11,000 following Trace's betting advice over the past three weeks. You get it for half price today simply by using coupon code HALF, H-A-L-F. Here's a little heads up for you, and I find this kind of interesting. Trace Adams has been red hot. Craig Davis, as I have told you repeatedly, resides outside of the Oklahoma City area. He has been incredibly consistent and strong with his picks either going on or against the Thunder over the past three years. These guys are on the opposite side of game number six today. So that's your little heads up. Also today, in terms of coupons, uh, how about Brad Wilton? Last night, 100 dime Eastern Conference total of the year. How easy was Indiana and Miami going over the total? Today, a play equally as strong. 100 dime play, his Western Conference total of the year. Spurs th Thunder over under, and it's the $9 payday pick. The $9 payday pick. You save $90, you get it for $9 simply by using coupon code BW9. His initials, Brad Wilton, BW, and the number nine. Um, he also had a hundred dimer on the Seahawks in the Super Bowl. What is this? Everybody reminded me about the Den Denver Broncos destruction that day. God, I still have nightmares from Peyton Manning's performance and the money I lost on that game. But anyway, as he accurately points out, this play is just as strong as his hundred dimer on the Seahawks that day and $10 betters. All they've done is win $10,320 following Brad's betting advice since last July. Not a bad 10-month run for him. And uh, one more thing for you. Just wanted to let you know, Matt Rivers, not an everyday handicapper, kind of pops in and out, much like Shawn Michaels when he has a play. That's when you find it. You're on the site when he has a game that he's personally betting on and loves. Um, he has the 777 triple play payout today because he has his one and only 500,000 star 
game of the month in baseball. It's Cleveland and Colorado. It goes at 305 Eastern time at Progressive Field. Um, this matches the highest rated baseball play of his career. He's only had two other 500,000 star plays in baseball the first two months of the season. You get it for $7.77 by using coupon code RIVERS777. 777. Okay, guys, let's talk about tonight's game. Obviously, because of the way the Spurs played in game number five, they're getting a hell of a lot of respect from gamblers because this price is three and a half points. Three and a half points. When you think about how the Thunder have dominated the Spurs at home this season, and in recent years, when you think about how the Thunder have dominated the Spurs when Serge Ibaka has been in the lineup over the past few years, aren't you kind of surprised that the Thunder aren't laying at least five points in this contest? Instead, it's only a three and a half point game. Well, don't be surprised and don't get trapped because i got to be honest with you. I think the Spurs win this game and close it out. I know that playing in Oklahoma City has been just a house of horrors for this team as they've lost nine straight in Oklahoma City. I realize that the home team is a perfect 5-0 and straight up and against the spread in this series, and most of those wins have been by double-digit margins, all but one of them, in fact. Um, but I still like San Antonio in this game. And as I pointed out, in my analysis for my own personal best bet with the Spurs on Thursday night in game number five, I thought the key in that contest was that Greg Popovich was not afraid to make some big changes in his lineup. And then he pulled a real rabbit out of his hat. Matt Bonner, who's like maybe number nine or ten. He might be number ten and a half on the Spurs bench, okay? Makes his seventh ever career playoff start. He starts him at center. Now, Matt Bonner is a three-point specialist. What was the point of it? Well, he wasn't exactly effective in the game, but he pulled Abaka away from the rim. He pulled him out of the plate. Uh, the plate. He pulled him out of the plate. Well, the way Serge Abaka played in that game, maybe he was sitting at the dinner table anyway. But he pulled him out of the paint in that contest. And then he used Boris Diaw extensively as well. And Diaw brought an energy to the Spurs that they were severely lacking in the game three and four blowout losses at Oklahoma City. And even though Bonner only contributed nothing, <laughs> you know, Dial had 11 points and six rebounds and uh, 28 some very effective minutes. So instead of going with Tiago Splitter, who played very well in the first two rounds of the playoffs, who is a lumbering type of guy, who is not going to be a threat to hit anything from beyond three and a half feet away from the basket, he used Bonner and Dial to make a Baca play outside. And what happened is Abaka, who only found out about the switch in the starting lineup from Kevin Durant like a half hour before game time, um, he was just totally ineffective after really being the heart and soul of this team in games number three and four. Now, obviously, the Thunder are going to be aware of such tactics coming in here tonight. Obviously, the Thunder are going to respond to play much better at home. But this Oklahoma City team is not that strong defensively, and the Oklahoma City team that you've seen here in the postseason has been in and out. Not as inconsistent and schizophrenic as the Indiana Pacers, but they certainly haven't been uh, that consistent overall. I just think the Thunder, are, or excuse me, the Spurs are sitting there. They regained some of their confidence. They got rid of the ghosts of playoffs past. Remember the 2012 Western Conference playoff collapse in the finals when they took the 2-0 lead and then dropped the next four games to the Thunder? Well, that's gone. They eliminated that ghost. They put it to rest and buried it again with their Game 5 blowout. And understand what a Game 5 blowout that was. I mean, you look at the final score and you see 117-89. They were up by 33 points in the second half. I mean, the first quarter was actually close. And then the Spurs just took off, and they took off despite the fact that Tony Parker, once again, didn't play like Tony Parker could. But Tim Duncan showed up, had a good game after two bad games in games three and four in Oklahoma City with 22 points and 12 rebounds. The team as a whole hit 13 three-pointers. Russell Westbrook did not go for 40 points like he did in game number four. I just think this is a great spot to back the Spurs, a veteran team that realizes they're the heat. They're sitting out there. They're rested. We got to get this series over, and I think the Spurs win the game outright today. Now, am I betting this game? Absolutely not, but I can't wait to watch it. San Antonio is your free play. Now, your other free selection, I'm going to go with the Oakland A's at home uh, against the uh, LA Angels. Uh, A's are going with Tommy Malone. You know, he got off to a dreadful start this season in his first five starts. Uh, all of them losses by the A's. He was 0-3 with an ERA uh, north of uh, 5.8 runs a game. But then he shortened the uh, stride in his delivery, and it certainly produced 
encouraging results because in his last four starts, he is personally 3-0 and with a 1.03 earned run average. In fact, in his last outing against Detroit, six and two-thirds shutout innings, four hit ball, striking out six Tigers in that contest uh, Monday, uh, which I think also was at home. Uh, he was 2-0 and in a 2.45 and with a 2.45 earned run average in his last three starts against the Angels, who are countering with Tyler Skaggs tonight. Now, listen, the Angels have won eight of Skaggs' 10 starts this season, which is why I didn't use the A's as my own personal best bet in baseball here today. And they have certainly supported him offensively, scoring five-plus runs in eight of his first nine starts. Um, but he's coming off his first bad road outing of the season. He had won his first three. That was Monday when he gave up five runs in seven innings and a loss to Seattle. Uh, I like the fact that the A's offense awoke last night in a 9-5 win, scoring five runs in the first inning, uh, pounding out 11 hits and also hitting three homers in the contest. You know, the irony here is that the last time the A's really had an offensive outburst, it was in Malone's last start against the Tigers on Monday when they had five homers in that game because in between those Malone starts, they really hadn't been doing too much because prior to last night's game, they were just two and six, averaging a, a shade over three and a half runs a game. Uh, again, I'm going to go with the A's in here. I'm getting them at, my, at home minus $1.20. I think they're ready for another one of those rolls. Are they as good as the team that won, what, 10 out of 11 about a month earlier in this month? No. Are they as bad as the team that had lost six out of eight prior to last night's win? Absolutely not either. Um, but I like the pitching and matchups here, and I like the way the A's have suddenly started hitting the ball in support of Malone. So Oakland is going to be your free baseball selection with the San Antonio Spurs, who, again, I told you in game number five, I thought it was going to be a far easier game for the Spurs than anyone anticipated, and it was a blowout. And today I just have a feeling that the Spurs are going to win this game outright as I look for my fourth straight NBA winner between free and premium plays. Best of luck, guys. If you have any coupon questions, say that three times quickly, just contact customer service. That's what they're there for. And I will catch you again on Sunday.